Um, me and Lisa was really close, so no one teaches you how to grieve, but I don't feel like I ever got to grieve properly because I've lost loved ones. Like my aunt passed while I was writing this book. Mm-hmm. My grandma passed, you know, um, my cousin passed. So, but with Lisa, I had to live it out with the world, which I wasn't ready for. Everywhere I went, I seen birth and death numbers. And then I didn't know how to take people smiling at me the next day. I can rap. Like, well, huh? What do you mean? You know, if you're looking for somebody like she just passed away yesterday right. and then smiling at me and going, can I take a picture? Sorry for your loss. And I was like, I, I don't feel right about this because you're smiling and I'm, I'm unhappy. I'm sad. I'm broken. So I was depressed probably about two years. We were, that was my creative partner. Mm-hmm. And she was family. She really became my cousin too because my uncle's married to her mom to this day. But I just couldn't deal mm-hmm. And then the questions that I would get were harsh, like I wasn't human. One interview we did, the lady said to me, well, do you feel if you wasn't sick and hadn't gotten sick, that is your fault she died because if you hadn't gotten sick, she wouldn't have went to Honduras? And I paused, like I wanted to punch her out the chair. (laughs) And I was known for hitting people too, so. Everybody, like, got quiet. They was, like, all junk. But I thought about it, and I was, like, I envisioned her falling out the window, everything, real quick. But I was, like, I said, no. She, You know, I did the right thing. I was, like, no, she went to Honduras anyway. That was her peaceful place, and she was doing what she always does. But, you know, when some people ask me insensitive questions, I was, like, well, how do you feel when you lost your mom? Like, that's just dumb. And so today... Like, she passed away before my birthday, the day before my birthday, but it came out in the press on my birthday, so people get it confused. Then I always get texts. It's 15 years later, and people's like, I'm sorry, Teal, you know, happy birthday, but don't do that to me. Just say happy birthday, because I'm in a place now. Don't take me to what was me and feeling bad. I want to celebrate her life. I want to feel good about what we did together. I don't want to be, like, in a dark place anymore, because I want to remember that we built something great together and and keep that going for her, because that was my promise to her, and that's what we started together, even before I met Chili. So... Like, don't do not do that. Just let's, let's be in a happy place and a good place and think about the good things that she brought to the table in this group. And it's always going to be TLC forever. Like, yes. you know? Yes. 